Good morning, everybody. We are here with the crew. We got Wally. We got Bowley. Hello. Hello. We got Anthony. Today we were called in to help this family out. They've actually done a pretty good job at your do-it-yourself pond build. I'll show you in a second here, but the part that's been giving them trouble, and that's why they called us, was the waterfall. This will be our fourth attempt at fixing it or not our fourth but the fourth attempt to fix it everything else looks good the water is super clear fish are healthy plants are thriving but the waterfall is leaking So you can see here, the pond actually looks really good. We've got some shelves. We've got a koi cave down here below where our pump is. We've got edge work that looks real nice up against the grass. Stonework is, is actually really nice, but the waterfall, again, not doing so good. You can see here, multiple attempts to kind of correct this. And there's liner over liner over liner. They actually took the lip off the biofall so many times that the bolt holes fell out. So they had to drill them out and use stainless steel hardware. I'll show that once we get this part of the waterfalls taken apart. But it's also got that dreaded volcano look where it just bulges up out of nowhere. So we're gonna actually shrink this down a couple of inches, tie the rock work into this big natural rock that's already in the yard and fan out on the far side there as well. Okay, the old waterfall is out. We've completely disassembled it, recarved in our, our ledges for the spillways. We're gonna try to work in three spillways from the first out of the biofalls and then two more before it falls into the pond. We also lowered our biofalls by about four inches just to sink it into the ground. This way we can complete our rock work to kind of blend it in with the existing landscape. They've got two very large stones in the yard that they built this pond in between. So you can see new liner is in, the, the hump up at the top, that's our biofalls across the way there where that rock is sitting on top. So that's the existing boulder that was here. We also have this large one um, a little bit further in the foreground here. So we're gonna redo all the rock work from over there up to and around the biofalls. So it looks like one giant rock formation that's coming in and the water is spilling through it. We're also gonna have to rebuild our retaining wall and edging stone around the backside here. But this pond looks good. These guys did good as a do-it-yourself project. I think they did A+. They've got all the proper components. They've got the Aquascape 3PL pump, check valve, Aquascape uh, 1000 skimmer, Aquascape 2500 biofalls. They've got the liner, they've got the proper plumbing. So a lot of the fundamental pieces of the pond process, they had everything together. The waterfall was just a problem. They couldn't get it to hold water. There was always some sort of leak. So we're gonna patch that up. One solid piece of liner. We're using a 10 by 10 piece. This way, every area from biofalls to pond will be one solid piece, no overlapping, no low edges. This way it's gonna seal everything and guarantee that that water does stay in the pond. This is the fourth fix to get this waterfall to not leak. So in all of those fixes, taking the bolts on and off and on and off from the biofalls, the factory bolts or screw holes kind of fell out. So the customer actually did what we've done and what, what us Aquascape contractors need to do um, sometimes is on the older molded plastic biofalls and skimmers, the hardware rots out. So they've actually replaced all of the hardware with stainless steel uh, washers, bolts, and nuts. They've drilled out our the holes here a little bit bigger to allow these bolts to go through. So we're gonna reuse this stainless steel hardware. There was nothing wrong with it. It's not gonna rust. It's not gonna deteriorate like the older stuff. So I'm gonna put our thick bead of silicone around the edge of the lip here, then reattach the lip using the, the stainless steel hardware.
Okay guys, just checking back in with you. We've been working pretty fast on this actually. Uh, we had the rocks, everything was in place. We just had to demo it apart and then reshape and then start to rebuild. With four guys working on this waterfall, we're cranking through this. So I'm gonna turn this around in a second and just kind of show you what we got so far. So out of the bio falls, you've got this first weir stone. It's gonna drop down about eight inches also splash off of this this rock here that's angled in a little bit curve over the front of that pool in the gravel area and then spill over this next stone here that's been leveled off so the water is going to actually be forced to come around the corner and down the entire face of this rock again another angle rock here it's going to pull on top force its way down and then onto this final spillway where it's going to be kind of into a cavern here. So most of the waterfall is complete. We're still buttoning up a couple of our edges and the wall behind our biofalls. We've actually even started pumping water back from our holding tank. We're refilling with fresh water to pick up the difference. I'm gonna spin this around, show you what we got here. You can see so far our pond is almost full. Probably another couple inches to get us up to the proper water height. Waterfall you can see at the far edge, Bowley's still doing some edge work there. These guys are catching the fish that we took out from the existing pond. We've got our homeowners over here. Maybe Rich will say hi. <laughs> we'll have them come back out in a short while when we do the final reveal and fire this up for the first time. But you can see from what we started at, to we're at right now, it's quite a transformation just simply by rearranging the rocks up in that waterfall. A lot of the rocks were here. Uh, we brought in some more, but most of the rocks were what were used in the waterfall already. So just repositioning, spinning, flipping, uh, really can, can transform any waterfall. All right, I'm gonna uh, go knock on the door, have the customers come out, see what they think. Come check out your new waterfall, guys. That's so cool to hear. Uh oh, now we're gonna live the aquascape yeah, life. Yeah, we're back to That's it. forever living the aquascape, aquascape lifestyle. That's it. Hey, Greg, did you hear that? Yeah, Greg, <laughs> we're there, finally. Thanks <laughs> to Atlantis Water Gardens. That's it, they're living Jack the... Jack and his team, and That's Joanne. Beautiful. So we are back at a job we were on over the summertime, just having a look at things and getting some final pictures for you guys. This was a waterfall rebuild. Uh, we'll recap, you'll see in the, the, the video. This was a pond that the customer built themselves. They came to our shop, bought all the components, built a beautiful pond. They dug it out, they've got tiers, they've got a lower section. They did a great job with all of the stonework around the edges. They even built a little fish cave, which actually all of the fish are hiding in now, which is perfect, because that's what it's for. But when it came time for the waterfall part of it, they had, aesthetically, it looked good. 
but the connection of the faceplate and liner to the biofalls just wasn't making a good seal. There was overlap liners, a couple of folds, and they were having an issue with it leaking. So we were called in, we took that section apart, re-tiered some stuff, moved the biofalls, repositioned it, and now we've got a beautiful waterfall to complement the pond that they built, and they love it. So you can see, this is kind of our signature style waterfalls here. Nice cascades, doesn't have a staircase look. Nice turns, drops, and then about an eight inch final falls into the pond. This guy won't leave me alone now. Go get it. The water here is as clear and clean as I think I've ever seen in a pond. The fish are hanging out in their little cave over here. The plants all are growing in. You can see Creeping Jenny is probably our favorite plant to use. It just kind of flows over all of the rocks, both sides here. Got some other mixture of hardy marginal plants. Got this corrugated rush. Nice piece of driftwood incorporated into the side. They've got some other perennials, some other junipers that are just gonna grow over the rocks. It's gonna look beautiful in another year or so as these plants continue to mature. Some of the tropical stuff, since the temperatures have dropped, already are starting to wilt a little bit, but next year, just like planting your annual impatience, put, put some new ones in, you'll get your pops of color and some nice texture. So this was a cool opportunity for us to demonstrate to you guys out there and to the customer here what we are able to do even if it's not an entire pond. We just needed to kind of polish off the last 10% of an already awesome job that they did. We just came in, polished up this upper part here, and now this is a feature with lights, auto dosing system, aquascape skimmers, all of their plumbing, and their family loves it. They're hosting parties here all the time. So if you like this video, please let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that link, follow us along every week, every Friday at four o'clock, a new video is posted. See you on the next one.